Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome back to the Strings and Beyond YouTube channel. What? D did I do something? Oh, crap. I did the green screen wrong. All right, hang on. Did I do it? No? Ha! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I fixed it. I'm in outer space right now. This is, uh, it's already getting too dumb, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome back to the Strings and Beyond YouTube channel. My name is Chris, and today we're going to do things a little bit differently. I'm not going to play any music for you today. I'm sure you're celebrating about that. Uh, I've got my laptop computer here with me today, and what I'm going to do is read off some of your questions that you've asked us, questions that are frequently asked, or maybe ones that we just thought were interesting. I guess I'm just going to dive right into it. Let's see here. First question, uh, hey Chris, how is your voice so high-pitched? Is your house filled with helium or something? You know, I, I think I'm going to go through these and filter out anything with insults or curse words or anything. Give, give me a minute. Let's see. Hey, Chris. Whoa. Next question. Oh, my gosh. Next question. And that one, too. What? Is that even a word? Uh, give me a minute. This is apparently going to take a while. All right, here we go. Question from Dan Burris out of Nashville. He writes, Hey guys, I like to have a really bright sound on my Martin acoustic guitar. Can you please explain the difference between phosphor bronze and 8020 bronze acoustic strings and which would be better? Dan, you're definitely gonna want 8020 bronze acoustic strings. Phosphor bronze is nice and bright at first, fresh out of the package, but it very quickly breaks into a much warmer, mellower sound. Phosphor bronze has a little bit rounder, more harmonically rich tone, uh, but again, 8020 is the way you want to go because it's very bright, very metallic, and it projects nicely. Next question is from Clive Williams from Sydney, Australia. Clive asks, My friend and I both play electric bass. We use flat wound strings, but I find that they're just too warm and mellow for me. Is there a string that I can use that's flat wound but still bright? You are going to want to check out Diodario half round bass strings. These strings are initially round wound, but then the outsides are flattened down. That means that the inner wire is still round against the core of the string, uh, which allows it to retain some of the brightness of a round wound string, but it's flat on the outside, so it has the feel of a flat wound string and some of the mellowness that comes along with it. Half rounds are great for people who really prefer flat wound strings, but also like to do things like slap bass or uh, playing with a pick. Next question is from Andy D'Onofrio of Charleston, South Carolina. He says, do you guys sell single strings? I can't find them on your website. Yes, we've got a bunch of singles to choose from. Here, I'll show you how to get there because this is asked pretty frequently. First, go to our homepage. Now, move your mouse onto the thing up here that says strings by instrument. Don't click it, just put your mouse cursor on it. This fancy window thing is gonna pop up. Uh, now look in that window down near the bottom right corner. See where it says single strings shop all? Click that. Boom. All of our single strings right in your face. Question five is from Dmitry Slavenko in St. Petersburg, Russia. He writes, Chris, I'm a big fan of yours. Can I have your autograph? <laughs> you, you guys. Question six is from Peter Finnegan in Providence, Rhode Island. He asks, someone told me if I do something, I can get free strings. Is that true? Yes, it is. You can do one of two things. You can either A, send an email recommending us to five or more of your friends and be sure to get us in on that email as well so we have proof that it was sent. Or B, post a link to our website on your website. Website. Facebook and Twitter, those are social media accounts, those don't really count, but if you do have your own website, feel free to uh, put one of our links on there to our website and let us know that you've done that and we'll send you a set of strings up to a $5 value free of charge with your next order. You scratch our back, we'll scratch yours, but make sure you shower first, I don't want to... If your back is real oily, I don't want to scratch it. It's kind of nasty. This question is from Keith Joseph in Garrettsville, Ohio. He writes, My girlfriend of four years is pressuring me to ask her to marry me. I just don't think I'm ready yet. How can I handle this? Uh, I'm sorry, somehow I let that one slip under the radar. Next question is from Helen Pataki in the Bronx. She says, I know it's a little ways away, but I'm gonna be looking for little guitar trinkets and gadgets for my sons as stocking stuffers for Christmas. Do you have anything like that? Uh, of course we do. We've got some neat little things that would be really great. We've got cool stuff like the Spider Capo, which allows you to easily play with experimental tunings. The Pick Punch, which makes guitar picks out of old credit cards that maybe you don't need. The Guitar Grip Wall Hangers, which are a pretty awesome alternative 
alternative to a regular guitar wall hanger. We've got little maintenance items like GHS Fast Fret and various guitar polishes and oils by Dunlop, Honer harmonicas, we got kazoos, and we've even got some pretty cool t-shirts as well, like this one that I'm wearing and any other ones that you see in our YouTube videos. I'll put a link to some of these things in the description below, so be sure to check that out. Next question was submitted by Chucky DeFranco in Santa Monica. I'm messing up my microphone. He asks, I play outdoors a lot and I sweat all over the place when I play. It kills my strings pretty quickly. I do like elixir strings, but I want to try some other coated slash treated strings too. Do you have any recommendations? Well, Chucky, we've got a bunch. Diodario has a line of strings called EXP, which are coated strings similar to elixirs. Martin also has a series of strings called Lifespan, and they're called Lifespan because they have a long lifespan. They're also, you know, they're coated, treated to be anti-corrosion and stuff. We also have the ever popular clear tone strings. DR even released a set of strings recently called Veritas, which are a long lasting string, but they're not even coated. They're just, it's just the way that they manufacture it. They last just as long as coated strings. Those are all on our website. Feel free to check them out. Lots to choose from my sweaty friend. Uh, I hope you find something you like on our website and uh, be sure to keep an extra stick of deodorant on you at all times. Anonymous writes, do you sell bulk strings? I'm a luthier and I'm constantly stocking guitars with strings and like to have a big pile of stock strings to pull from. Yes, we do carry bulk strings. We got many types of Martin bulk strings, including acoustic guitar, both phosphor bronze and 8020, various series and gauges of those, electric guitar, electric bass, mandolin and banjo as well, and some classical guitar strings as well. They come in packs of 10 sets, 20 sets, or 50 sets. We've also got Diodario bulk packs of 25 sets. They're EXL electric line, and EJ Phosphor Bronze Acoustic Guitar Line. Remember how I showed you how to get to the single strings on our website earlier? Do that same thing, but instead of clicking single strings, click the thing right to the left of it that says bulk strings, and that's how you find them on our website. Here's the last question. This comes from Kyle Burris in Chautauqua, New York, and he writes, where are you guys located? Do you have franchises or just one location? We are headquartered in beautiful Southport, North Carolina, about 200 feet away from the ocean, and it's a pretty awesome location. We love living here, you know, it's right by the beach. We only have the one location, it's just our headquarters here. We're a small family-run business, but Southport is a popular vacation town, so if at any point you're vacationing down here and you want to stop in and say hi and get some strings, we're always uh, welcoming walk-in customers at all times. The locals love us here, and uh, you know, it's always fun to see tourists coming as well. We're about an hour south of Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, so now you can get kind of an idea of when you can expect to receive your order of strings once it ships, based on the fact that we're in Southeast Coastal North Carolina. Well, everybody, thank you for submitting your questions. It's been fun answering them. Uh, please continue to do so. Be sure to leave your questions in the comment section below or post them on Twitter. Uh, you can follow us on there. And if you do want to ask a question, be sure to tag it with hashtag ask strings and beyond uh, to make sure that we see it. Anyhow, be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and of course, check out stringsandbeyond.com. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more.